All right, welcome back to Get Out the House, Go Fish. Today, I'm fishing with Katie, and we are hitting up the uh, inlet here, and it is foggy as you know what out here. Look at this. It is just crazy foggy out here. Let's get out there, get unloaded, and uh, see what we can catch today. Right, I haven't tried these white knuckle uh, dirty boxers yet, so I think I'm gonna try that here today by Fish Bites, Fight Club. Let's get it done, let's get it on the hook. All right, here we go. Got the red eye jig with a dirty boxer. All right. That's me. Oh. Man, something got this guy. He was just sitting there. Yeah, it was just sitting there. A flounder. Wow. They're just sitting there. That is a big one. Nice. All right. It was just sitting there and it came by and got it. Wow. All right. Nice. <laughs> so anyway, I just had this guy thrown out there sitting on the bottom. I guess it was just kind of the tail was just moving and it hit it hard. This flounder hit it hard. Oh, check him out. All right. Get out the house, go fish. That's it. Let's see what he, what his measurement is. Katie's looking over here because she loves flounder. <laughs> loves that flounder. Let's see what we got here. We got, ooh, we like 14 and a half. 14 and a half. All right, so that, Flatty is going to be coming home with us today. Today we're going to be filleting this flounder with the Cast King folding fillet knife. The knife comes in this protective sheath. It has durable non-slip grips and the six and a half inch blade has a corrosion resistant finish. So, you know, if you're on Amazon, it currently has a $2 off coupon box that you can apply before checkout. Now, when I fillet a flounder, I always fillet it so I get a total of four fillets. I slice down the middle and then cut the top and bottom fillet off and then do the same for the back. Today we have a garlic parmesan recipe that we'll be using to prepare this flounder. And uh, here are the ingredients so you can screenshot it if you want, but I'll also include the ingredients in the description below. So uh, I went to the store, got all I needed for this recipe, so let's get started. Now let's start by preheating the oven to 425 degrees. That way by the time we finish preparing the flounder, the oven will be ready. Now in the pan, you're going to be using, uh, go ahead and drizzle two tablespoons of that extra virgin olive oil and uh, go ahead and sprinkle the fillets with some salt and pepper. Take a half a cup of the grated parmesan, one fourth cup of the breadcrumbs, scrape that lemon for that zest. Now it calls for four cloves of garlic minced. And I cheated on this part. I added like three small uh, spoons from a jar of minced garlic. So instead of buying the garlic, you can just get some out of the, the jar. And um, add some salt and pepper to that mixture and go ahead and mix it up real well. And now you're gonna start bringing over those fillets one by one and pressing them down and covering them up and then adding them to, uh, to the pan. Now, uh, before uh, they go in the oven, there's one more step. Uh, you're going to drizzle uh, about two more tablespoons of that extra virgin olive oil on them and then uh, get that lemon, cut it in half, and squeeze that juice on top of those fillets. All right, now they're ready to go in the oven. And this recipe says 20 minutes, but 
Uh, that's going to depend on the size of those fillets. And I kept my eye on the on the fillets as I was cooking them. In about 15 minutes, uh, I cut the oven off and kind of let them sit in there for a few more minutes and then took them out. All right, so there we go. There is uh, a new recipe for y'all to try. Uh, it's the first time we've ever tried uh, making it this way. Usually we just um, fry it up and uh, eat it just with some regular, just like a regular fish fry, cornmeal fish uh, fry that we usually use for uh, for the flounder. But this time, trying something new. Uh, it's a really easy recipe. Um, most of y'all might already have everything uh, at the house. We can go ahead and try this. Um, and see how it tastes. Uh, first time, first bite. <laughs> okay. Mm, it's really good. Mm. Right off, a lot of flavor. You taste that, taste that zest, the lemon. You can really, you taste that garlic? I'm getting a lot of cheese. Not cheese? A lot of Parmesan cheese? Mm-hmm. I like that Parmesan cheese. That is a good flavor. That's a good... I might be doing this again. Definitely. We'll definitely be cooking it like this again. Um, it's really good. So y'all should try it. Uh, definitely... Um, um, definitely recommend this recipe for cooking flounder. Uh, and all we did was uh, cook some, uh, what flavor noodles is this? Oh, that's just uh, pasta roni, garlic parmesan. Garlic parmesan. Or not garlic parmesan, or... I'm sorry. Garlic and olive oil. Okay, garlic and olive oil. All right. Uh, we didn't have any greens, but if you have any, uh, some greens, uh, maybe some asparagus, that'd be good with this. This is just a quick lunch. If you wanted to yeah. make it like dinner, then you could throw some side, other sides in there with it. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Uh, Hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, don't do too many of these, but uh, I'll try to do more. If y'all, you know, enjoy this, uh, definitely hit a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and uh, be sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. All right, till next time. That is a fish. Got you that time. What is this? What is that? Ah, oh, it's a drum. Don't come off. Ah! Oh. No! Ah! Put that shrimp back in the water. Came off right there. <laughs> right there. It. I saw it. Big old drum. Put it back in the water. <laughs> Doggone it. All right. Get your new one back in the water. Oh my gosh. That drum. He's still there? He's still hungry? <laughs> mm mm mm. Oh my god, that would have been a. a that's a, it was a keeper too. <laughs> yeah, he was a keeper. Definitely a keeper. Oh, I saw it, so it counts. Nope, didn't get him in the boat, so <laughs> didn't count. Doggone it. Mm mm mm. <sighs> Take a breath. Take a breath. <laughs>